We're trying to look at different methods to improve the uptake and the use of anti-malarial drugs um, and the use of diagnostic tests to, which will also support that. Um, and in our social science research, we are, we've designed interventions that are based on population needs, health worker needs, looking at the motivations behind why people are doing what they're doing at the moment and trying to integrate with current practice. Now our new drugs that we're using are more expensive um, and there are risks involved with overusing them, partly because people will um, may be suffering from another kind of disease that gets missed and that's a really important thing not, not to miss and not to treat. Um, and also because there's maybe potential for resistance to emerge if these drugs are overused. Um, however, we do have quite a gap in terms of the assumptions behind why people behave in the way they do. And that may be why people are taking drugs in the way they are. But I think there's also some assumptions around um, health worker behaviour and how people will deliver drugs. And there's an assumption that if there's a failure, it's usually on the part of the patient um, to fail to adhere to their drug regime but often uh, it may be on the part of the health worker. And that actually involves a number of components, not only training health workers so that they give you know, appropriate treatment according to the current guidelines, but also trying to find out what would appeal to patients to encourage them to come to public health centres.